some little doodads we're going to start adding like you know I encourage you guys to think outside the box and start adding some things from around the house that you may have uh, fairy garden items are really fun to add to your terrariums of course a collection of rocks um, I have a bag here full of different colored moss that you can put in there to add some interest and today I'm going to do a black and kind of a white theme and then black again just to add some interest on the bottom of the container as well as all the plants that I'm going to put in on the top. And I have black rock and white rock and of course some natural rock. I got a lot of rocks. <laughs> so I'm going to start building this for you guys. Um, I'm going to get up close because it's just me today that's filming. And just give you an idea how I put one of these together. And I have kind of a small collection of terrariums here for you guys to get a view of um, at the end of this video. It's something fun to do, especially if it's pouring rain or snowing outside, depending on where you live, and a great way to bring some greenery inside um, or inside your office, uh, one of the two. Okay, so I'll quit blabbing here and get started.
All right, you guys, there you go, the finished product. So I encourage all of you to use any kind of fossilized items like seashells, rocks. Um, here, as you can see, I've used a fossilized shell. It's a great way to display some of your collections. Um, down here, I've used some agate rocks with succulents. And here, we actually sell some stone owls. So I decided to insert those into this big vase. See if you can see the little guy behind there. But yeah, I encourage you to use some natural elements in your terrariums and make them fun. So if you got a box of rocks that aren't doing anything, install them in a terrarium and create a little nature scene, so to speak, and something that you can enjoy. So I hope that inspires you to do something creative and create a terrarium during the month of January. As what else is there to do until the weather starts to warm up a little bit? and start to have a little fun. All right, you guys, thank you for tuning in. And of course, I'll be talking more about houseplants in my next video. And if you want, you can leave a message in my description box down below. For GardenStyleNW.com is my website, or you can get a hold of me at GardenStyleNWest at gmail.com. Take care, you guys, and have fun.